Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how to create static routes in a vCloud director environment. So first of all we are going to log on to the vCloud director and this vCloud director is running in my vSphere laboratory and this week I'm doing a trade and trainer and I had some difficulties with getting up to speed with this lab so as an exercise for myself I'm recording this one. So what you see is that I have an Alpha 6 virtual machine and the Alpha 6 virtual machine is created in a vApp and the vapp is the alpha vapp and the alpha vapp is running in the organization alpha and this virtual machine is connected through a vapp vshield app uh, another vshield app for the organization it's connected to the public network and eventually i want to have access to a virtual machine in another organization organization beta and organization beta also has a vshield edge device and a vapp in it so first of all, let's go to my home within the vCloud director and I'm able to show you some, some settings uh, in this vSphere environment. First let's try to maximize the browser. It's a little bit difficult because I'm doing this from my hotel room and the line speed is not that optimal so apologies for some slow build up of the screen but I think you will get what I'm trying to to show you so um, let's take a look at our environment when you are going to the home page you are able to see all the V apps running in your organization and in this particular case click the color where I have want to open uh, a virtual machine V app uh, virtual machine alpha 6 in V app alpha and this virtual machine uh, is running Windows and I want to issue a ping to a virtual machine uh, in the beta organization. So I have to add some static rules to the vShield Edge devices that are created on the organization networks. So if you are going into this vApp, and I'm going to show you the network diagram of this vApp, you will see that this vApp only contains one virtual machine. And the virtual machine is connected through a vShield Edge device on the vApp itself. The static route is not created on this vShield app device because there is a default gateway and the virtual machine knows its way out to the organization network. Um, the organization network is connected uh, to the other organization network and we, we cannot add two, uh, connect two vApps together uh, within different organizations. So what we are going to do is that I'm going to show you the networks of this organization and the networks of this organization uh, the networks of this organization are two we are only using the second one because the second network is configured as an external public network and it's uh, connected to the 192.168.2.1 network the external network too and when you right click this network you are able to select configure services so configure services mean that you are configuring the vShield Edge device and the vShield Edge device we are going to configure right now is the one uh, that's positioned here this is the vShield Edge device and I want to give this virtual machine this Alpha 6 virtual machine access to the outside world but also if traffic comes in I want to lead the traffic to this VM so the traffic to beta 2 192.168.210 uh, must go to the next hub 192.168.11.226 so 172.20.11.226 traffic to Alpha 6 goes through the next hub 192.168.25 this is within the network this is not to an external network so the 25 address is right here 192.168.25 and that will lead to the internal V Alpha 6 virtual machine so if you need to pause this video to take a better look be my guest uh, those two static rules are created on the Alpha organization vShield Edge device and uh, we have to do the same on the beta organization at, uh, at app, vShield app edge device 
So let's go over to the vCloud director again. And when you go to My Cloud, uh, um, no, sorry, you have to go to Systems, I think. Then you are able to manage your organization. So let's manage organizations. And once you have managed an organization, it will stay as a tab in your Internet Explorer. So we are going to go. We are going to manage the beta organization, and the beta organization uh, will be opened. And in this organization, I'm able to select the VApp 2. And if you're going to look at the network diagram, you see two virtual machines, one CentOS and one Windows machine. Both machines are fenced by a V-Shield Edge device on VApp level. And I'm going to show you those uh, V-Shield Edge devices later on. But first of all, we want to administrate the network because this VApp, this VApp in the beta organization is also connected to an organization network and the organization network is connected to the external public network, the same ex the external public network which is used in the alpha organization. So this organization network needs to be configured and we also need to put in some static routing. So what we're going to do is that we are going to configure the vShield Edge device and we are going to tell that outgoing traffic must go to 172.11.202 and traffic within this VApp will flow to the VM behind 11.3. So we need another outside network rule and another inside network rule, a uh, static rule. So when I jump to static rules, you will see that I'm able to uh, that I'm able to to configure those rules. So traffic to Alpha 6 has the next hop of 172.20.11.202 let's jump back to the to the to the picture so there it is 172.20.11.202 and when we are looking at the second rule to the beta 2 rule it jumps back to 11.3 so there's the 11.202 rule and on the other hand is the 11.3 rule so within the network and to the external network is both defined on the vShield Edge device of this organization beta. And once I have configured both organization alpha and both organization beta, and I've told where to drop the packets once they leave the organization, I'm nearly done. Only the thing you have to keep in mind that there's also a vShield Edge device when you fence a vApp. And when you fence a vApp, uh, you have to take care of the settings of those Vshield at devices also. So let's take a look at those uh, those devices. So I'm going back to my cloud uh, because then I'm able to administrator the V apps within my organization. Here you see the V app, and when I'm going, I, if I want to configure this Vshield at device, I have to go to networking, and I do the same trick right here. I right select select my VApp network. I'm going to configure services, and once I'm configuring services, I'm configuring this VShield Edge device, and it's created when you create a VApp network. So there's no static route. The external IP address is 11.3, so the virtual machines within this VApp know where to go and eventually will hit the organization network but there is a firewall in here and by default all outgoing traffic is allowed but all incoming traffic is denied so what i did is put in a default allow rule i don't want to be bothered by firewall file rules for rules on the same time i'm creating routes i can do this later on it will be an extra factor which can lead to problems within my uh, networking configuration. So the same for Alpha. When you go to Alpha, you see a VApp diagram. The virtual machine is running in a VApp. The VApp is fenced by a firewall. And I'm gonna, going to look at the configuration of the Alpha 6 VShield Edge device. And when I'm jumping to networking, you will see that uh, once I've selected the Alpha network, um, with the default gateway 141, I can configure services and when I'm configuring services, uh, there's no static route in here. The default gateway is 25. So that's the outside IP address 
of this edge device so the traffic knows where to go when it wants to go to the outside world and once again take good care of your firewall when you are going to do experimenting with this put off the firewall of windows and put off the firewall of your vapps you can put them on later on but you definitely have to know that your routes are okay because otherwise it will be a hassle to troubleshoot these kind of problems and believe me i spent the whole afternoon trying to find out what the problem is and now it's nearly 12 o'clock i should go to bed but i'm finally finalizing the video and i'm going to show you that i'm able to ping the virtual machine in, in beta 2 so let's give it a try let's type in the command ping um, and we are going to ping 192.168.210.3 or .2, it doesn't matter. Both virtual machines are in the VAP Beta 2. So let's start with 2 and uh, 210.2 and press enter and see what happens. Well, I'm getting a reply. Awesome, this. Great, really cool. So let's do a trace route and see which route is taken from the virtual machine running in the alpha vapp the alpha 6 to the virtual machine running in the beta vapp so trace route will show you every hop uh, on the way and in fact it will show you all the ip addresses of all the vshield edge devices so uh, that's kind of cool so you can check if the route is really working out for you so the first hop we see is 141 it's the a V-Shield Edge device of the VAP 21 is the inside address of the organization V-Shield Edge device. Then 172.20.11.226, it's the outside address of the beta. And 11.3, it's the outside address of the VAP beta 2. And 210-3.3 is the IP address of the VM we are trying to reach. So there you see all the hubs 25. Uh, sorry, 141, 21, 11, 226, and 11.3 and 21.3. Cool. So it worked. Eric Sloof is signing off, and I hope to create some awesome videos. So keep tuned and watch this channel. Bye bye.